lecture today is it is a continuation of the uh, lectures of the central nervous system now we uh, will talk about the basal ganglia thalamus hypothalamus and medial gland the basal ganglia it is a subcortical gray matter which is mean the a gray matter within the collection of a gray matter within the white matter it's include the corpus striatum the corpus striatum consists of the caudate nucleus and the form nucleus this is the red color is the head of the caudate nucleus this is the tail of the caudate nucleus and this is the lentiform nucleus the amygdaloid body which is the lower uh, connection with the uh, caudate nucleus located in the uh, temporal bone and the uh, temporal loop and the uh, claustrum which is the lateral to the uh, uh, lentiform nucleus these uh, known as the basal ganglia here it is another uh, picture showing this is the caudate nucleus that consists of the head body and tail the tail end with the amygdaloid body and here is the lentiform nucleus now uh, start with each a nucleus uh, the caudate nucleus this is described of having head body and tail which is long thin tail and in the amygdaloid nucleus the caudate nucleus is a highly curved it is lying within the concavity of the lateral ventricle and thus uh, uh, thus it's it's uh, its head project into the floor of the anterior horn of the lateral ventricle and the body uh, form the lateral uh, in the lateral uh, wall of the lateral ventricle and in the tail and in the uh, roof of the Super, uh, of the inferior horn of the lateral ventricle here here it is the diagram show this is the lateral ventricle the head from the fl uh, the floor of the anterior horn of the lateral ventricle the curved body located in the lateral wall of the lateral ventricle and the tail which is in in the roof of the inferior horn of the lateral ventricle The lentiform nucleus, it is a biconcave lens. It's made up of a larger lateral, uh, known as the butamin, and the smaller medial globus pallidus. Here, uh, it is separated anteriorly from the uh, head of the caudate by the anterior limb of the internal capsule and medially from the thalamus by the posterior limb of the internal capsule and laterally from the claustrum by a thin sheet of white matter known as the external capsule. There is a strand of a gray uh, matter connected between the head of the caudate nucleus and the lentiform nucleus. This is known as a corpus striatum, so that the name came from this appearance Corpus striatum. The function of the corpus striatum is not well no, not well understood, but they think that's a part of the extra pyramidal system, which, uh, which is influence the voluntary motor activity. Uh, there is a cortical efferent enter the butamine and caudate nucleus, which send efferent to the globus pallidus and then to the hypothalamus, brainstem, and the spinal cord. The claustrum is a thin sheet of a gray matter that is located between the lentiform nucleus, the outer part of lentiform, the putamine, and the insula. It is separated from the lentiform nucleus by the external capsule and from the gray matter of the insula by a thin sheet of white matter known also as the extreme capsule. Its function is unknown. Now we talk about the radiology of the basal ganglia collectively. The basal ganglia, as we said, it is it represents the uh, caudate nucleus, where, where its, its head is seen in the 
uh, floor of the anterior horn of the lateral ventricle, the head of the caudate nucleus. The body is lie in the lateral wall of the lateral ventricle, and it's end in the uh, superior in the roof of the uh, inferior horn of lateral ventricle. And the lentiform nucleus here is lentiform, the outer part glutamine, and the uh, medial part globus pallidus. Here it is the anterior limb of uh, the internal capsule, which is separate between the caudate and the lentiform, and here is the posterior limb, which is separate between the lentiform and the thalamus. As MRI, we prefer T1, as we said, because the uh, information and uh, anatomical structure appear well. This is an axial T1 image showing the head of the caudate and the lentiform nucleus, the internal capsule, thalamus here is uh, separated from the internal capsule, separate the lentiform from the thalamus. This is the body of the caudate, as we said in the lateral wall of the lateral ventricle. Here it is the name Corpus Citriatum. It is a citrons of a gray matter connected between the uh, head of the caudate and the lentiform, so the name is corpus citriatum. Here it is a thin sheet of a gray matter known as the clostrum. Here is the site of the amygdala when the uh, inferior end or, or the tail of the caudate nucleus ends, which is from the roof of the inferior horn of the lateral ventricle. Ultrasound examination also may show us a structural information about the uh, basal ganglia. This is the head of the caudate, and this is the lentiform nucleus. Here is the anterior limb of the internal capsule, and here is the posterior limb. As we, uh, after finishing the basal ganglia, now we start to talk about thalamus, hypothalamus, and pineal gland. These structures located around the third ventricle include thalamus, hypothalamus, and pineal gland. Together with the hapinule, these form the diencephalon. This is the third ventricle. In the lateral wall is the thalamus. In the anterior and inferior part is the hypothalamus. And in the posterior part is the pineal gland. Now, start with the thalamus. The thalamus, these paired ovoid bodies of a gray matter lie in the, as we say, in the lateral wall of the third ventricle, extend from the interventricular foramen anteriorly to the brainstem posteriorly. Each has an apex and the posterior uh, end, a uh, round end known as pulvinar. The thalamus separated laterally uh, from the uh, lentiform nucleus by the internal uh, by the internal capsule, especially the posterior limb of the internal capsule. Here it is an axial and coronal sections of the T1 MRI showing the thalamus and its location in the lateral wall of the third ventricle separated from the lentiform nucleus by the posterior limb of the internal capsule and it is also participate in the part of the floor of the anterior horn of the lateral ventricle. Yani it is located in the lateral wall of the third ventricle. It's and form part of the floor of the anterior horn of the lateral ventricle. The thalamus is attached in approximately 60% of cases to the thalamus of other side. And the connection, it is not really a neural connection. It is called a mass intermediate or interthalamic adhesions. Thalamus has a many nuclei and many pathways, path, especially sensory pathway. There is a medial and lateral swelling in the posterior part of the thalamus. The medial one is called the medial geniculate body, which is connected to the inferior colliculus of the midbrain. Uh, and participate in the auditory pathway, while the lateral geniculate body is connected to the superior colliculus of the midbrain and it is uh, participate in the uh, visual pathway. Here it is 
posterior sec post uh, coronal uh, section and a posterior part of the midbrain. This is the two superior colliculi and uh, two inferior colliculi. The lateral geniculate body connected to the superior and participate in the visual pathway and the medial connected to the inferior and participate in the auditory pathway. Blood supply of the thalamus is from the posterior cerebral artery uh, known as the thalamocitrial branches from the posterior cerebral artery. Subthalamic nuclei, these uh, locate, located below the thalamus in a coronal section known as the subthalamic nuclei. Below it located the substantia nigra and above it is the thalamus. It is connected laterally to the butamine and inferiorly to the substantia nigra. Its function is unknown, but destruction of one of them cause hemipalismus. Hemipalismus means involuntary movement of uh, one side of the body if one is destroyed. And this movement usually occur in the proximal part of the body, in the proximal part of the limbs. So you can differentiate it from the other abnormal movement like chorea, which is occur in the distal part. Hypothalamus. Hypothalamus is from the floor of the uh, third ventricle. The thalamus from the lateral wall and the hypothalamus is from the floor. It is consists of many parts starting from anterior to posterior. The first one is the optic chiasm. The second is the tupercinidium, which is a sheet of a gray matter connected between the optic chiasm and the mammary bodies. The infundibular stalk which is led to the posterior hypophysis or the posterior pituitary gland, the mammary bodies, which are rounded masses in the front of posterior perforated substance when the fornix end. Uh, posterior perforated substance, this is located between the crora cerebri and is perforated by the posterior uh, cerebral artery. Here it is a section show us the hypothalamus this is the first part and the anterior part is the optic chiasm. The tuparcinerium, which is sheet of gray matter between the mammary bodies and the optic chiasm. And this is the infundibulum, which is end in the posterior pituitary gland. And here it is the mammary bodies and posteriorly is the posterior perforated substance. Here it is the optic chiasm. And for, this is all from parts of the hypothalamus, optic chiasm. And here is the memory bodies, a posterior perforated substance here located between the two cerebral crori. Here is the site of the posterior perforated substance. The hypothalamus, the nuclei of hypothalamus are connected by white matter. The medial forebrain bundle to each other to a frontal loop anteriorly and to the midbrain posteriorly. Here it is the nuclear, this is the uh, medial forebrain bundle connected to the frontal loop, orange colored, <clears throat> to the frontal loop anteriorly and to the midbrain posteriorly. The function of the hypothalamus is control of autonomic activity. It has sympathetic and, and uh, sympathetic and parasympathetic areas and they play a role in the regulation of temperature, appetite, and the sleep pattern. Uh, the hypothalamus is responsible for temperature regulation, the biological clock, uh, control the sleep and the appetite. The hypothalamus is supplied by branches of anterior and posterior cerebral and posterior communicating arteries and the drain into thalamocitrial veins. It is uh, uh, yani supplied by branches from the anterior posterior cerebral and the posterior communicating. The pineal gland, the pineal gland lie between the posterior end of the thalami and between the splenium above, splenium of the corpus callosum above, and the superior colliculi 
when we seen it previously, it is the posterior part of the middle brain below. It lies within three millim of midline. Here it is the site of the pineal body, posterior to the thalamus, and under below the splenium and three millim from midline. This other section so show us the pineal gland. Here is the pineal gland. Its stall, its stall has the happy neural commissure, which is located anterior and superior to the pineal gland, and the posterior commissure, which is uh, located anterior and inferior to the pineal gland. This is the, these commissures located within the stall of the pineal gland. Here, between the happy neuler and the posterior commissure, here it is a recess known as pineal recess of the third ventricle. And this means is the third ventricle ends here by this recess. Here it is a sagittal, mid-sagittal section of T1 MRI show us the site of the pineal body or pineal gland below the splenium and posterior to the superior colliculus of the uh, midbrain and posterior to the thalamus. Now we thought about the radiology of the thalamus, hypothalamus, and pineal gland. The X-ray, so an X-ray show us a calcification, pineal gland, one of the most uh, common uh, calcif intracranial calcification occur, especially after the age of 10 years. But this percent is any 50% uh, of uh, skull radiograph show or the calcification, but this percent increased by CT scan. You will see more of calcification of pineal gland by the CT scan. MRI is better in visualization of this structure than CT. Here it is the thalamus, which is located in the lateral wall of the third ventricle. And is this part of the hypothalamus which includes the optic chiasm, the pituitary, and their mammary body can be seen clearly. And this is the site of the pineal gland. This is the anterior commissure, this is the posterior commissure, and as we remember the line drawn between AC and PC line. Ultrasound examination. Also, the ultrasound may give us information about the thalamus, which is located here. Uh, uh, one of the most important uh, indication of ultrasound, especially the neonate, to diagnose if there is a hydrocephalus, when there is dilatation of the ventricle or intraventricular hemorrhage, also can be seen clearly by ultrasound, especially uh, in the uh, area uh, of in the in the horns of the lateral ventricle. We finish our lecture. Thank you for listening. Okay. True false. Okay. Doctor Abdul Karim Nahel. I'm sorry. Rakam one. نمبر 1 اللي هو شي يمثل لنا كسرام جراي لو وايت ماتر جراي ماتر جراي ماتر مو صحيح تقريبا موجوده بين الانتيفورم نيوكليوس والانسولا باللي كيسترنال كابسول مو صحيح صحيح Okay. Between the external and extreme capsule. Okay. Victoria Maryam. Victoria Maryam. Hamad Farhan. 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 اللفت هاي الصورة هنا اللفت لفت استاذ اي هاي مهمة مو صحيح؟ اي نعم 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 صحيح استاذ صحيح الكاوديت جراي لو وايت ماتر؟ جراي ماتر جراي ماتر نور بابا نمبر 3 
uh, anterior limb of internal capsule left side. Anterior limb of the internal capsule of the left, left internal limb. capsule. Excellent. And containing the fibers which is crossed between the head of the caudate and the Bell. lentiform. Lentiform in your case. Uh, uh, Muhammad Farhan. Naam, naam, sir. Lentiform in your case. Lentiform. Min shinutit kawan. البوتامين والجلوبس باليدس يا الميديال يا اللاتر البوتامين اللارجر هو الميديال اي والجلوبس باليدس هو السمولر يصير لاتر وايس اه بالعكس بالعكس اي البوتامين اللارجر لاتر والسمولر ميديال الجلوبس باليدس سمولر The larger is the vitamin, it's lateral, and the smaller is the globus validus, it's medial. Good. Dr. Maryam, do you want to hear me, Dr. Rahad? Yes, Dr. Do you hear me? Yes, it's clear. Yes, Dr. I'm going to call my name and I'll hear you later. Number five. Number five. وين هي دكتور نمبر 5؟ ما جاي اشوفها. بالكورو بالكورونا سكشن؟ ايه النمبر 5 از بوتامين. بوتامين. اوكي. ليفت بوتامين. اه؟ ليفت طبعا. لا تنسون الليفت والرايت. علا صريح نمبر 6. اه نعم استاذ. الليفت جلوبس باليداس. اللي هو السمولر وميديال مو صحيح؟ سمول وميديال نعم. ليفت. الليفت. لينتيفورم نيوكليس. هذول خلصت مو هاي اول شو اسمه؟ يلا حتى الاستاذ محمد يكمل، الاستاذ محمد. نعم استاذ العدوية. دعاء سعد. <تصفيق> The posterior commissure located posterior to benign gland, benign gland, false, um, inferior to the benign gland. Anterior, inferior. Russia. Naam, Ustaz. The hypnular commissure located posterior to benign gland, false. It is located the anterior and the superior. Benign gland. Kazan. Yeah, Mustas. The thalamus located in the lateral wall of lateral ventricle. Fault located in the lateral wall of third ventricle. Omar. I'm sad. Amygdala located in the inferior aspect of parietal lobe. False. Temporal lobe. No. نعم دكتور. Head of caudate nucleus located at the floor of anterior horn of lateral ventricle. دكتور ترو. بعد كله خلاص. ها يا دكتور. عشتي دكتور أحمد خليل وشكرا للحضور.